Continuing with the uh, preparation to go out and sweep, one of the functions that the uh, uh, one of the daily functions that the operator is going to have to do to make sure that his uh, water filter is actually clean. And the water filter is, is located right underneath. All you have to do is take that out, take the element out and make sure that the element is actually clean. And then of course, go ahead and put it back in after you wash it, rinse it, and if it's clean, of course, you don't have to do any of that. Definitely, after that is actually done, the water tank needs to be filled out so you do have water to suppress any of the dust after you go out and sweep. Once you get to the sweeping side and start the sweeping process, of course, before you get there, you're gonna have to make sure that all your caution lights that would be the bacon, the curb light, and of course the, uh, the uh, flashing lights in the back of the sweeper should be operating properly so everybody will know that there is a slow moving vehicle doing the, uh, doing the sweeping on the street or on the parking lot for that matter. So we're gonna start off with showing where the, uh, the lights are located so you can actually test those before you go to the sweeping site. Uh, turning on, of course, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, chassis or actually the ignition switch. These are your flashers that they're also in the rear and also in the front of the, uh, of the chassis. The next one, you have to, of course, to turn the key to the console on so you can activate your console. Starting off with a beacon. And your curb light. Now, depending of course, how many beacons the, uh, the sweeper has, he may have two switches for the front and the rear beacon. And if there is an option curb light on the right hand side, it's going to be another one of those switches as well.